Hey everyone, my name is Susan. Welcome to I Totally Love It. Today I'm going to share with you um, some of the things I've made so far for The Curious Case of Craftly Hall, which is hosted by Tracy Fox. I'll have her uh, channel linked below and um, what I've done so far. So I'm just going to do a video every maybe once to twice a week just to show what I've I've created to that point. I won't be putting one out every day. Um, she does have a calendar of um, collaborators uh, for each day. So definitely go check her out and all those collaborators. So before June, she released a story that was actually written by um, her and her husband, I believe. Uh, maybe her husband wrote it and then she did the crafty part. I'm not sure. Um, and um, so it was, you know, it's about Craftly Hall. And um, so she had these items for us uh, to get. They were freebies. And uh, so a lot of people made little folios and whatnot. And um, I wanted like a file folder. Uh, but I didn't want to actually use a file folder. So I just used a piece of cardstock. And this is that, um, I don't know if you can tell, uh, it's kind of like a resume paper, but cardstock style, uh, where it's kind of got a little marbling to it, maybe. Um, executive cardstock. <laughs> and um, so throughout the whole thing, I used ground espresso. I'm giving my vintage photo oxide a little break and i'm um, gonna use the ground espresso because i've never actually used it um the case was solved and uh, so these are you'll see all these little pieces on there from her freebie um so everything got inked up um uh, by yours truly and uh there were three investigators uh there was ernest brundle there was dorothy blakely and good old Carl Edwards. And um, because, you know, this is only eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, it didn't have much room for a pocket, but actually that is room enough. Then there was like a little map of the area. It's called Lower Craftly. And um, then we had some like little notes from it's the committee of psychical investigators a little moped book type thing and then there's a photograph of craftly hall and the case number 374 uh, so it's real simple also i made it small so it could fit into a bigger journal so this is only in inches it is five and a quarter wide and seven a little over seven and a half inches tall all right so um then i went to make a journal to put that in here's my journal um i made it out of a cereal box and this looks like leather but it's actually um so you know sometimes when you get a package uh amazon or whatever and inside is like that crumbled up um like grocery bag type material uh that's what this is so it's a lot thinner than a grocery bag um and of course because the um cereal boxes you know basically paper uh it's got a little a little wornness to it but that's fine because i want it to look old i haven't done anything to the cover i'm not sure what i want to put on there I will note that as I was trying to put signatures in, I'm not sure exactly what I did. But I have this line that runs across and it even goes to the other side. So I have no idea what I've done. Uh, but we're just going to run with it. I did use a three-hole pamphlet stitch. And look, it's, it's pretty even. I'm a little slightly impressed with myself. Uh, it does have two signatures. Um, so it's probably way more than I need for this project. Uh, but maybe I'll get kind of creative with this and actually use it for something else. This is going to be mainly kind of an artsy kind of journal for this whole kind of creep feel. Um, anyway, so this is a digital of hers on the inside. This is just um, it's not really scrapbook paper, but it's like 
eight and a half by 11 paper. A lot of people I've seen get on Amazon. I actually found my packet at a thrift shop. So this is the other half of that digital. And uh, like I said, I have two signatures. So as I'm recording this, uh, we are on day two. And um, I took the digitals that were provided. I believe this is mostly day one. Um, but it says the site was a settlement that was decimated by plague in 1665. There's Crafty Hall. There's a little map of the grounds there. And then when you turn the page, so there's a whole story if you're not familiar with this. There's like an actual text. Uh, so the like transcript of the video is um, typed up. So I was able to print it uh, two to a page, two pages to a page um, to make the text smaller. And um, so I thought, well, I'll include the story in here, but you got to, you know, go through the journal to get to the pages. So I kind of broke the story down to 30 parts. Um, so each day we'll get its little part. Um, so this is CPI case 374 Crafty Hall and the attending investigators. And um, that's the couple. Their names are, what's it on this part? Uh, their last name is Binder, you know, because this is Crafty Hall. We've got to have some, oh, Mr. or Miss. Mr. and Mrs. No, Mr. J. I think his name is Jeffrey Binder. And I forgot her name. Rosa? Rose? Rose Binder, maybe. Sounds good. And then day two. Um, so this actually kind of matches that paper. I was trying to avoid that, but you know what? Can't always be avoided. Um, so there's actually a little file folder, and I turned it into like a two part pocket. So at the top here, and I really should have printed this on, or maybe even glued it to some cardstock, but I did not. Um, but here's the second part of the story. And, um, but I made, you know, so the actual um, file folder is a pocket, so you can slide in from the top. But when I glued it, you could also slide in something from the side. And this says, in the early 1700s, a church was built on the plot with a small cemetery. So and then we've got the little crow or raven here sitting on a headstone. And um, this little, it's actually a tab from one of Tracy Fox's other um, label kits, but the colors worked are great. Um, so I'll just do a little flip through of the journal. Got a card there. Secret journal. This was fun. This is one of those pages where you're like, well, how am I ever going to use this? And this was a perfect, uh, I, I feel like it's perfect to put in this one. He was, he sent his sweetheart to prison for life. And then ambush. And this is part of that um, Amazon paper kit that everybody gets. So I've got some kind of greens and blues in there mixed with all these neutrals. Sudden death. And then we got the second signature. This is um, avocado dyed paper. And then this is the envelope that goes with the card in the first half. It's just some notebook paper. I don't want to set the world on fire. So now we're in the second half of that. So it's just the other side of all the items. The actual pocket there. So nothing spectacular, but I really love this, how it turned out. And um, I'll have to figure out what to put here. Uh, but this fits in here so nicely. I plan to make some kind of pocket back here for it to fit in because then you can see the little tab sticking out. I think that's awesome. 
I've got my bag of printouts. I didn't print everything out, um, just printing as we kind of go. I've got a few days printed out. Um, but there's a lot of ephemera, and I really thought about cutting it all out, printing and cutting it all. But um, no, some people have crickets. That's awesome. I don't. Um, and also, I, I find sometimes in cases like this where you're doing kind of a big project, uh, and you have a lot of ephemera. If I cut all the ephemera at the beginning, it all gets jumbled in there and I can't see it anymore. So I don't really have a problem cutting it as I go. Um, I've got a lot going on right now anyway. So <laughs> I have decided to bite into a lot of projects. So anyways, um, I have shared the file folder, the little case file over in her Facebook group called the Foxy Crafters. Um, so if you're not in that group, you might want to go check her out. Um, she did one last June. Last June was so busy for me. I don't even remember her her hosting creep on June. So, but I went back and looked and it was apparently, yeah, like pumpkins and it's like very Halloween-like. So I probably wouldn't have done it, but I was so busy. Um, and uh, anyways, I like this one. This is, you know, kind of was a mystery and. But you should go watch the video. It's like 30 minutes long. Maybe not quite that long, but close to it. Um, you know, and it narrates the, the whole story to you. So um, you should definitely go check it out. All right. I appreciate you and your time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Um, I'd love to have you. And um, don't forget to go check out Tracy. You know, I'm trying to get to 800. She's almost to 60,000. So you probably already know her. <laughs> All right, you guys. I appreciate you and your time. Until the next one, bye-bye.